Tension started building up as hundreds of opposition activists tried to block the roads in Dhaka and other districts. The country came to a halt. Dozens of vehicles were set alight and petrol bombs were hurled. Police vans also came under attack. Pro-government supporters were out in the streets to foil the protest by their political rivals. Thousands of police officers were deployed across the country to ensure security. Soon, clashes broke out between the two political groups. Police fired tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse them. Many were injured and dozens were taken into custody. The main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party wants to restore a caretaker system of administration to oversee next parliamentary polls. Today the people of Bangladesh have become united with the demand of a caretaker government and we demand that the immediate government must accept the demand and let there be an election under the neutral caretaker government. The opposition says elections held under an incumbent government will not be free and fair. But the government argues that it abolished the caretaker system of administration following a court order and it will not back down. Despite the presence of thousands of security officers, the main opposition has managed to bring the country to a standstill during this eight-hour blockade. And they have threatened to launch more protests in the coming weeks. And that's not a good news for the country's economy and political stability. Anbaras Nitirajan, BBC News, Dhaka.